have my new cameras yet, but I'm draining this tank. Seems the only way to do that is hold the pressure or the uh, air valve in, and then it drains. As soon as you let up, it stops. Ah, this was a mess in here, and it still is. Well, what I want to do by the end of the day, well, I'm going to replace this tank, obviously. But you can see that valve down there. All it is is just straight pipe. There's no, there's no pressure relief valve. There's no water release valve. All right, what happened here? Let's hold this in. Uh oh, we're out of air. I don't think we're out of water. <laughs> ah, that's going to be a problem. Might be drilling some holes in the tank because I can't lift this out now. All right. So, anyway, that's an old uh, air tank that they got the motor sitting on. Actually, we put this motor in. We just put that. We didn't know what we was doing back then. We just put the new pump uh, where the old pump was. And it, it needs a lot of work. This obviously is not what you're supposed to use or a heavy duty garden hose but for today uh it's a mess over here it's not leaking so i don't want to bother it i'm just gonna get the same nipple i'm gonna get the proper brass fittings for it i'm gonna get the same uh, nipples that they got for this garden hose and, and the same one for this this is actually better than the garden hose but and I'm going to get, I got some blocks I'm going to put in here and get this all nice and level. I'm going to get rid of that tank, put that on some cinder blocks. Yeah, but I can't go too high. But eventually, this spring, I'm going to rebuild this whole thing. All new plumbing. Man, I hate to jack with that. But this, this system has worked for 10 years, so it'll work for another few months. I got everything I need to put the stuff on the new tank. The only thing I don't see, I thought I got, was a pressure relief valve, but I don't see it. So we're just going to have to cap it. I do got this uh, so I can drain it like I can't do now. So we're going to get all this together, get it in there. First, before I put it in, I'm going to put some gravel in there, level it off, put these blocks on the bottom so it's nice and level. And I can't get all the water out of this tank, and I can't get this old tank out. So, I just moved it all the way to this corner. New tank's going where the old one was, only... <laughs> that, I mean, that galvanized pipe rotted it out because it was directly in the ground. So, we're not doing it that way this time. But I am going to have to put these old stupid hoses back on. Because I'm not going to mess with this until... I rebuild the new well house. I just need water. It's the weather. The days are too short right now. So there may be a leak there. I don't know. We'll just get it on. The pump will tell me there's a leak. The pressure switch will go alternate like it's been doing. But this definitely was full of water. So it is the problem. So I'm going to have to climb in here. And to get that tank out, I'm going to set that motor on some cinder blocks make it nice and it's pretty level the way it is but i don't know we'll see what we can do i might as well place that the right way well i guess tank ain't really hurting nothing we'll see all right got all the fittings on i've got this at a little bit of an angle so it's easier to get a hose on if i need to put a hose on so i don't fill up the whole well area with water i've got these on with teflon tape and under there I use pipe dope. I've got my pressure gauge there also at an angle so I can open the lid and read it. And we're ready to throw this thing in. And hold on. I hate filming with cameras. And if you ask, why don't you ask for help? There ain't no help available, guys. I've lived here 10 years without help. And it's not always available. Not everybody lives on top of each other. It's we're, we're miles and miles away, and I don't need help. The worst, the only thing I probably needed help with was getting the old tank out, but it can sit in there. So we're gonna get this thing thrown in, and we're good. Why does my video say I've got 26 minutes of video? I don't. My new camera should be here in a few hours, but I can't wait. I gotta get this done. I right, guys got everything connected, and. I didn't want to move the well pump. It's very heavy. It's hard to get in here. So it's fine. It's been fine for 10 years there for now. Until spring, I'm going to leave it alone. I got these hooked up from the well, well pump, and all to do now. Now, these come preloaded, pre-filled with 28 pounds of air, 
which is what I need because my on pressure is 30. You're supposed to go two pounds below. So now I should plug it in and it should start filling the tank. And I don't know if I can do that with one hand. So let me see if I can mount you guys somewhere with this stupid phone. I don't know. Well, that's going to have to do it. You'll hear it. The well pump comes on and continuously runs. Then I did a good job. And I hopefully don't have no leaks. That white gun. Beautiful. And this should be filling my pressure tank. I don't know how people film with these stupid phones. Should be filling my pressure tank. I don't see another leak right there. Okay. I'm fix that. Don't want to go too tight. Alright, I think that's as tight as I want to go. I couldn't have filled that up already. By gosh, it did. Ain't coming on. I gotta go to the house, see if we got see if we got water. Tighten this up a little more. Can't go too tight with that plastic. It should seal. Can't have no leaks, man. <clears throat> Always something, ain't it? All right, that did that. All right, let's go in the house. See if I got water. All right, excuse the dirty dishes. Come on, come on. You need more than that. The line spilled back up. Keep hitting the stop button on this phone. Come on, water. See, if I had somebody here, I could have them out there tell me if the pump's running. We're not hearing nothing. Don't tell me I got a break in the water line, man. I'm let that build up a while. Man, the shower's working good. See, it's got some ice in the line. There we go. Oh yeah, she's, she's clearing out now. Sometimes you gotta open all the faucets up and get the air out of the line. Oh yeah, that's the hot water, cold water. Boy, it froze up good last night. All right guys, I'll have it in a minute. Here we go, getting good pressure in the bathroom. God, this sink's awful. I'm replacing this sink. As you can hear the air in the line. You put the hot water on. More than I had yesterday. All right, I was beating my head against the wall because I, I made sure there was 28 pounds in here, but I'd go in, run the faucet, and it would build up to 40. And down here, yeah, we're saying we're at 28 pounds, 28 pounds. So I just let some out, but I'm going to show you why. Uh, it, it's working okay the problem is the lines in the house froze last night because I couldn't I, I couldn't leave them on a drip because there's no water so they're frozen but if I come out here to the outdoor spigot we'll be here in a minute come on you UPS with my new camera I don't even know if this phone will hold this much memory but if I come out here we got water so I'm gonna let that run there we go oh she's kicking up now got you some nice drinking water there boy got a lot of air in the line or ice 
Yeah, let me go in the house and see if we can get it to come out of the faucet. It's filling the toilet, but I know where it's frozen, and I'm, I'm meaning to fix that. I already got half the wall torn out. Let's go look in here. All right. See, the problem is that joint's right up there in the wall where I tore that wood off. So when I get all this down, I want to fix that. Uh, it's a brass fitting and it just keeps freezing. I need to wrap it better. We do have water, but it's frozen. Let's see if we got any hot water. And that freezes too. We run the hot and that'll thaw that out. And now I need to go out and see if the tank built up again because it doesn't have any way to release the pressure. So it's building back up in the tank. That's why you need a relief valve, which I will go get tomorrow. Upper. You did, didn't you? It's all gone. All right, everything's done. Well is working, no leaks. Whew, yeah, it was frozen on the kitchen. I'm going to tend to that this winter. Very soon, because I'm tired. But it, it doesn't affect me if I leave it running. But obviously, I couldn't leave it running yesterday because, well, I had to unplug the well pump. And uh, what I had to do, since I put this up on blocks, it was higher... So I had to add two by fours, an extra two by four on top of the old one. And I got the heat lamp in there, got all that nice and neat. So we shouldn't have any troubles for a while. Oh, let me see if I can flip this thing around, guys. This is just a cheesy cell phone video. This is not my new camera. I should be here soon, but I'm gonna start dinner. I've been at this all day. All day since 7 this morning. It just ain't warming up that much. I think it's about 50, 48, something like that. So that's why that was still frozen. All right. I'm going to here. This is probably not even a very long video. Or it may not be a video at all because I never do them with cell phones. What we did today. Happy trail. Oh, yeah. Let's go look in here for a minute. Oh, I picked up some more foam. Dogs. We gonna do. Picked up some more foam to finish that. But I've got all this done. Up here. And I got all that done up there. I just took a coffee can. I measured where that hole was about. That's all one cut. And a coffee can was the right size, cut the hole out. Because I don't want to cover them up entirely because I may use them with the laser machines. Yeah, now what's next is, uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a long strip of sheetrock, put on the edge there, and then I'm putting pegboard just to tell me where to put it. Because I'm going to have something on the ceiling eventually. This is all going to be pegboard up here. Where I can hang tools out of the way. Believe me, I got a plenty to do, put up there. So that'll all be pegboard up there. Uh, possibly a shelf coming out here. I don't, I'm going to leave that for now. Leave that off for now. So it's uh, all we got left is that and these two very in ones. And this is fully insulated. We'll begin. It's, it's just been kind of cold to do the mudding, but I can heat it up in here once it's all insulated. And I've got. I think, I think I'm going to have to go get some more of this because one of these sheets is going to be taken up by them and the other one I've got to do the doors. So yeah, probably another one or two plus I need to get some for the patio. So I haven't got the floor yet for the, uh, I hate cell phone record. I haven't got the floor yet from the house because I've had unexpected expenses and that well is way more important than having a floor. So that was like $400 that I had spent on that. I didn't have to buy a pressure switch. There was nothing wrong with the other one. I didn't think there was because it was only two or three years old. And what happens when your pressure tank goes bad? That just pulses because you got a leak in your tank. And I could hear the water lines in the house rattling. Boom, boom. That's what it was. And I let it go for like a month like that. Uh, and then yesterday... I went to let a little air pressure out of the 
the day before yesterday, a little air pressure out of the pressure tank. That's when I knew it was full and the bladder was broken because water squirted out. So that means the whole tank was full, full of water. And then they have a bladder in there that fills with your water. And on top, there's air. It's like a dome. It's like, I don't know what kind of material, some kind of rubber material they use. And the air presses down and, and that way it knows when to stop and all that. So it didn't have it. Doors are creaking. All right. I'm going to shut up. I'm making talkers. Happy trails.